Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn how we can make a very simple meme generator using Python. So you must have already used some websites like imageflip.com or the memegenerator.com which help you to generate the memes. So all they can do, uh, all they do is um, you just caption a meme by putting some text over above and down there and you just generate that meme right so this is a very simple meme generator that you have online but what if we can create the same thing using some python code so what we'll be doing is that we'll be getting some kind of image as input and we'll be getting the top text and the bottom text that we have to draw over this image and we'll be just doing this particular thing using python itself so that is the agenda for this video and let's get started so um, first of all the complete process of making a meme generator can be divided into several steps and the first step is to know which font that we're going to need and use for making the meme generator so the most commonly used font for um, memes is the impact font which you can download from this website wfonts.com you have to just click here to download that font you will get a zip file and then you have to extract it and finally you will be having some folder called impact in which there are three ttf files by ttf we mean true font true type font so we'll be using this impact.ttf for drawing the text over the image okay so this is the thing and now um, let's come to our first task which is to uh, import some libraries that we are going to use so i'm going to use the pillow library in python so if you haven't installed it you have to do pip install pillow to install it so from pil i'm going to import image image draw and image font so these are the three modules inside the pillow library that i'm going to need other than that i'm going to use a use an inbuilt python module called text wrap for wrapping the text um, that I'm gonna draw so that's it these are the imports that I'm gonna need and now let me load the image that I'm gonna use for making that meme so I am equal to image dot open in which I have to pass the uh, path to that image file so I have the file right here I don't always dot jpg right so it's dot slash I don't always.jpg so that's it I have loaded the image but in order to draw any kind of uh, object over any image using the pillow library you have to create an image draw object of that particular pillow image so this is how you do it image draw dot draw so you're just making an um, you're, so you're just making an object of the draw class um, like this you have to just pass the pillow image object into it that's it and now here um, I'm just keeping the image width and height for easy reference image width image height is equal to m dot size okay so that's it and now let's come to the third part which is to load the font that we're gonna use for drawing the text so that is very simple to do font is equal to uh, image font dot true type font uh, so there's a function called true type which will help you to load that font into um, your Python code so true type in which you have to pass the path to that font file so that is impact slash impact dot ttf and the size of that font that I'm going to use is uh, going to be image height by 10 so let's say I'm just keeping that we might change it depending on how that looks when we just draw that particular text on our image so this can be variable and that's it we have got the font and now it's time to do the next part which is to wrap the text so what do we mean by wrapping the text so actually um, if I'm given that I have to paste this particular text on the top of my image it's not always possible that this complete text will be visible completely on my image it might overflow um, because the image width might be shorter than the text which when will be uh, which when uh, will be printed over your image with that particular font so in that case what you have to do is you have to split your top text or the bottom text into multiple lines and that is called text wrapping and that is what we're going to do so for doing that first of all we need to know that what will be the size of each character that we will be um, drawing uh, on the image so that is a care width and the care height that I want to know and that can be obtained by a very easy way which is 
to use the font dot get size function so for your font object you can use its get size function in which you can just pass any character or text whose size you want to know which when will be printed on the image will be seen like that so care width and the care height is there so if you just just try to check the care width look at that it's 37 right so now um i can easily calculate how many characters per line i am allowed to draw over my image so care per line cares per line is actually image width divided by um your um care width so cares per line equal to image width divided by care width that's it so now i can use a text wrap libraries uh, wrap function in which i have to simply pass the text that i need to wrap and what is the maximum width that line can have so width is equal to cares per line and now i'm just going to specify the bottom lines as well just like the top text i'm just going to replace it with bottom text okay so now in this way i have wrapped my top text and the bottom text and if you just check the top lines i get uh, i don't always and make memes as two different lines and the bottom lines is like this but when i do i use python right so that's it it's done uh, but i still think i can make a, sim a very simple improvement which is generally when we use the uh, when generally when you make the memes um, the text written on that particular meme is generally in upper case so i'm just going to put that improvement here as well so top text equal to top text dot upper and bottom text is equal to uh bottom text dot upper so that's it so now if i just do it i get like this but when i do i use python right so it's looks fine it looks fine so we have just wrapped our text and now we are ready to draw those lines uh, on our image so let's do that now so now what we have to do first is that we need to know what is our um height offset going to be for start writing the text on the top or the bottom of the image by height offset i mean this particular height offset okay so for uh, so for uh, the top text i'm just going to specify it as 10 okay so because that doesn't matter much so if you just put some uh, if you just give it some height offset that's enough and now for line in top lines what do we have to do now so i have to just pick each line from my top lines at once and then just draw it over my image but before i draw i need to consider a few things the first thing is that the line that i'll be drawing i need to know its uh, x and y coordinates so basically any text that you try to draw over your image you have to provide its um top left corner coordinates okay so here the y value will be simply this one y equal to 10 and the x value is what i have to find so for that x value um in order to make this particular text look centered we have to do some calculation and that calculation can be like this is the complete image width so i have just divided by 2 so this is the image width by 2 and from that image width i will subtract the line width by 2 so this will provide me this particular width okay so this particular width i can use simply so um so first of all i need to know the line width right so line width and the line height can be again simply obtained using the font dot get size function in which i have to simply pass the line text and yeah that's it and then the next thing is to find the value of x which is going to be equal to um image width minus line width divided by 2 that's it so this will give you the value of x and finally we are ready to draw the line um on our image so it's draw dot text in which you have to pass the x y coordinates like this then the text that you want to show which is going to be value equal to line and then fill equal to white because generally on the memes we use the white color for the font and then finally font equal to font so that's it this will simply um draw the text on my image and let me just try to see how my image looks like right now 
So look at that. Um, okay, so we have just made a small mistake. We haven't um, updated the value of y while we move to the second line, right? So uh, let me just first close it. So here we have to just increase the value of y every time we move to the next line and that increase can be specified as line height. That's it. Okay. So let me just uh, load my image again and the draw object again. And now if I just try to check it, look at that. I don't always make memes. So we have just um, printed or you can say drawn the text that we need to draw on the image um, on the top. Okay. That's done. And now it's time for the bottom part. And now for the bottom part, there is um, a one challenge that we have to face, which is to find the value of y. So we have to calculate something because the y value depends on the number of lines that we are going to print. Okay. So that can be specified as image height minus um, this can be specified as care height into number of bottom lines that I'm gonna draw okay so this will be done like this I just take the complete image height it means that I am here right now and then I just go backwards to the number of lines that I'm gonna print so I'm just here now if I have to print two lines and also I provide some padding so that let's say 15 so that uh, uh, my text doesn't touch the bottom completely so in this way we'll be able to provide a good height offset for our bottom text and now for line in bottom lines what are we gonna do we're gonna do this complete same thing nothing is gonna change okay so that's it and if we just try to check out our image now look at that uh, I don't always make memes but when I do I use Python so it's looking perfect now but um, I feel that I can still um, decrease the size of my fonts a bit right so you can just put the value of uh, font size as a variable in your program right now I'm just putting it as image height by 12 now so that it looks good so let me just uh, run all the cells again so look at that it looks perfect now right the font looks perfect the font uh, color is perfect and the positioning also looks perfect so this is how we have made a very simple meme generator or in a way you can say you can say that you have learned how to draw text on the images using python's pillow library and also um, how you do some kind of computations to ensure that your uh, text on that particular image is centered and at the correct height offset and etc etc so this was this tutorial um, and uh, i hope it was clear if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below and i'll be providing the complete clean code in the form of a python file in the form of python file in the uh, in the description of this video below so yeah so that's it from this video thanks for watching